Stealthiest Camouflaging Animals Hey everyone, it's Alexa, and welcome back to another video. Humans change their hair, makeup, and even the tint of their skin to look however they want. These animals can naturally do all of that so that they may survive. Here are the coolest, stealthiest camouflaging animals in the world. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you are subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming uploads. Willow Ptarmigan The Willow Ptarmigan is in the grouse family and inhabits parts of Scandinavia, Alaska, and Siberia. The birds change color from one season to the next. In the summer, it is a deep brown, while in the winter, it is white with a few black feathers on its tail. The change in colors allows the willow ptarmigan to camouflage itself in different types of weather. Males and females appear to be the same size. To tell the difference, you'll see that male willow ptarmigans possess a red color around their necks. Giraffe these animals grow 18 feet tall. How does an animal like that hide? Well, thanks to the color and patterns of their fur, they can blend in among the tall, slim trees that they also eat. Although they have long necks and long legs, their bodies appear short compared to their long limbs. The patches on their coat make it easier to confuse predators since it helps the giraffe camouflage itself in light and darkness. Additionally, those patches also prevent them from overheating. Dead Leaf Butterfly The dead leaf butterfly lives in Asia from Japan to India. It resembles a brown, crunchy leaf on its underside to help it blend in with the leaves of individual trees. When the dead leaf butterfly closes its wings, you can only see its muted brown underside. In contrast, when it opens its wings, its orange, blue, and black coloration becomes visible. This duality allows for the butterfly to blend in during the dry season with its brown side and then blend in during the wet season with the colorful side. Great Gray Owl The Great Gray Owl is the largest species of owl in the world, males growing 33 inches long while females grow 28 inches long. Named for its gray face and body, this owl virtually disappears among the tree bark. For you bird watchers out there, you can find the Great Gray Owl stooping in mixed oak woodlands. The biggest threat to the species is the timber industry, which is rapidly reducing the places these owls call home. Hedgehog a hedgehog's quills help them the best when it comes to protection and acts as a deterrent for predators. Those little spikes spring up when they feel threatened. While they sleep, their spines interlock, ensuring hedgehogs always stay safe. That's not all there is to them, though. The color of their bodies helps them hide in the dirt and plants, but those spines camouflage them differently, too. Hedgehogs will change their scent to match that of their area to make it harder for predators to detect them by smell. American Toad The American Toad lives in the eastern United States and some parts of Canada. Its brown skin helps it look just like the rocky, dry climate of its environment. Their coloring varies from yellow and brown or black and from being a solid color to being speckled. During the warmer months, the toads hang out in the shade, on logs, under boardwalks, and on flat stones. In the colder months, they will bury themselves backward in the dirt to hibernate. Europlatus geckos The Europlatus gecko is a handsome little guy who originates from Madagascar. Also known as the leaf-tailed gecko, it hides in plain sight since this lizard adapted to appear like leaves. It uses this to its advantage to protect itself from predators such as rats, owls, and snakes. Another cool thing this gecko does to avoid conflict is flatten its body to eliminate its shadow and to throw off its predators even more. Great Potu The Great Potu is known for its big, wide eyes and its ability to hide from predators. It also counts as the most massive species of its order. These birds live in forests where they stay comfortably perched on trees. Usually gray, black, burgundy, and white in coloring, the great potu match the gray barked trees, avoiding animals that want to eat them. They are nocturnal and will typically swoop down to lower branches at night to hunt. Flatfish Laying flush against the ground is one of the best ways for animals or humans to not notice you. Bonus points if you are the same color as the ground, like the flatfish. Some species of flatfish can change their body's pigmentation to match the ocean floor better, too. Because a flatfish's eyes sit on one side of their head, it helps them lurk on the ocean floor and not have their view obstructed. Flatfishes live all over the world, from the Arctic to the Antarctic to even the tropics. Wolf Spider Due to their excellent eyesight, the wolf spider is one of the most agile hunters in the world. The wolf spider can be found all over the world. Try not to be bitten by one because they do have venom. For further protection and decreased detection, the brown and black on their bodies mimic their surroundings. Wolf spiders prefer to hunt alone, usually blending in and waiting for prey to pass by so they can pounce. However, they do sometimes chase their prey. 
mountain hare. You can barely see this little bunny in the snow, and that is precisely how it survives so well in northern Europe. Mountain hares adapt well to the snowy regions they reside in with their white winter fur. When the snow recedes, they do appear more of a grayish brown. These hares live mostly in the northern regions of Europe, such as Poland, Scotland, the Alps, and Iceland, but they can be found as far as New Zealand. Pale-throated, three-toed sloth. Well, hello there, perfect. This sweet little guy inhabits tropical forests in South America and is an entirely solitary animal. The three-toed sloth hangs upside down from trees and is mostly brown or black, helping it to conceal itself nicely above the forest floor. This sloth is such a slow mover that moss will begin growing on its fur, giving it an even better camouflage than it had before. Common Baron Caterpillar Take a look at the common barren caterpillar, that is, if you can even spot it. When the common barren caterpillar is in its caterpillar phase, it seems to entirely disappear when it steps onto a plant because it looks just like a stem. The caterpillar is only able to camouflage during this stage. Once it turns into a butterfly, it completely loses its ability to disguise itself. These are native to Southeast Asia and India. Snow Leopard Snow leopards live on mountain ranges in South and Central Asia. Thanks to its beautiful smoky gray patches on its white fur, the snow leopard conceals itself into the snowy mountainside without being detected by predators. Their ability to camouflage is what helps them eat. This way, they can hide as they wait for prey to pass by before capturing it. They would be in grave danger of starving to death if it weren't for this technique in feeding. Goldenrod Crab Spider The goldenrod crab spider derives its name from its resemblance to a crab, but also because it lives among the goldenrod sprays during the autumn hunt. One thing the spider can do that a crab can't do is change its color. It turns from yellow to white to adapt to the flowers it lives on. The name comes from the fact the goldenrod spider lives on goldenrod flowers, a bright yellow plant that attracts lots of insects. Unlike the spiders you're used to, this one does not build webs, but instead is an ambush predator. It sits waiting on flowers, then pounces on other insects. Chameleon What would a list about cool camouflaging animals be without mentioning the chameleon? The chameleon is synonymous with camouflage, and it's easy to see why. Having the ability to change color based on its surroundings sets the chameleon apart from other animals. Chameleons prefer to live in warm weather areas such as deserts and rainforests. As a result, they inhabit parts of Africa, Madagascar, Asia, California, and Hawaii. Interesting fact, other than for camouflage purposes, the chameleon will often change color to communicate with other other chameleons or as a reaction to varying temperatures. Stick insect. You need to either have super vision or put your face right up against a branch to figure out if there is a stick insect in your midst or not. The stick insect, or walking stick insect, is a type of bug that looks exactly like the name suggests. Able to remain invisible while standing on twigs, leaves, and sticks, the stick insect can be found all over the entire world, but mostly seen in the tropics. The features of the different types of stick insects vary from long and skinny to flat and leaf-like. Although their shape may vary, their coloring is almost always green or brown. Pygmy seahorse Pygmy seahorses live off the coast of Southeast Asia within the Coral Triangle. Experts list at least seven different types that exist. Each of them is a different color or combination of colors, masquerading as the varied terrain under the sea. They only grow to about 0.79 inches in height. Pygmy seahorses spend their whole lives stuck to the same type of coral by grabbing on with their tail. They then proceed to match the color of their bodies to that of the coral, even able to copy its texture. Leafy Sea Dragon The Leafy Sea Dragon, also known as Glowart's Sea Dragon, can be found all along the coast of Australia. You'll recognize it by the long leaf shapes jutting out from its body so that this animal looks like kelp. It's technically a type of fish and belongs to the same family as pipefish and seahorses. The Leafy Sea Dragon usually inhabits piles of sea grass and kelp-covered rocks. Looking like a single rogue piece of seaweed, this fish regularly outsmarts predators and keeps a pretty low profile. Stonefish. What else do you call a fish that looks just like a stone? The stonefish's body comes in gray and brownish colors. Its rigid spines also give it a rock-like appearance. The stonefish uses camouflage as protection, of course, but this ability also helps to make it extremely dangerous. These marine animals contain a very toxic venom that proves fatal to humans, considered one of the most poisonous fish known to man. Swimmers sometimes do not notice stonefish, and many people accidentally step on them, which causes the stonefish to sting people. When they feel threatened or disturbed, they will inject as much venom as the pressure they receive. So tread lightly. 
What is the number one camouflage animal? Before we tell you, we've got a question. If you could pick an environment that your body could naturally blend into, which one would you pick? Let us know in the comments down below. Mimic Octopus If you've seen the movie Finding Dory, then you already know about this guy and his ability to blend seamlessly into the background. Researchers discovered this marine animal off the coast of Indonesia in 1998. The Mimic Octopus is not a very large variety of octopi as it will usually grow two feet in length. You rarely see its plain, naturally brown color. The most common coloring is a striped white and brown, which is meant to mimic poisonous sea creatures to keep predators at bay. Not only does this octopus change color, but it can change shape to simulate just about anything in the ocean.